I'm Dave McHugh for D3Football.com, and this is my D3 report from David Pearson Field just off the campus of Lycoming College in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, where it was Stevenson Mustangs versus the Lycoming Warriors in a MAC battle with Lycoming needing a win to stay in the race for a conference championship. And Lycoming would get that done with a 32-7 victory over Stevenson. They would jump out early, 13-0, two touchdowns though, and missed extra point early. Stevenson would try and get back into it midway through the second quarter with a Reed to Bragg touchdown from three yards out making it 13-7 and that would be the score until about ten and a half minutes left when Lycoming would score a field goal and then finish the half with a touchdown. Greg Nehammer 22 yards out after they converted on a fourth and short. It was 23-7 at halftime and pretty much over after that as they would tack on another field goal and another touchdown to win 32-7. For Lycoming, certainly played pretty good. The stats don't really show a huge difference in this team in these games, and really it came down to field possession. Lycoming, of their scores, 36-yard drive, 61-yard drive, 33-yard drive, 55, 37, and 46, given a lot of short fields against this Mustang defense. And Lycoming took advantage of that to score all of their points. You'll notice the longest drive was of 61 yards. For Stevenson, they had 221 yards of offense, just 136 through the air, and only 85 on the ground, a telling stat, considering it was the third best rushing team against the best rushing defense. K.K. Smith, the top runner in the MAC, 12th best in the, K in the NCAA, was held to just 66 yards, running for 33 in both halves. For Lycoming, 302 total yards of offense, 104 through the air, 198 on the ground. The big key for them, 2 for 2 on 4th downs, 4 for 4 in the red zone. Back to Stevenson again, K.K. Smith, those 66 yards on 24 carries, a season low 2.8 average. Anthony Reed also had 7 carries for 19 yards. John Kasparovic, 9 for 22, 84 yards and an interception. Anthony Reed, 6 for 10. 52 yards and a touchdown. Anthony Smith, seven yards, 70, seven catches, 79 yards. KK Smith, four catches, 23. For Lycoming, they were actually led by Craig Needhammer, the second string running back, 127 yards on 19 carries. Parker Showers, 18 carries for just 78 yards. He would, though, have two touchdowns, one for Needhammer. Tyler Jenny, nine for 19 through the air, 104 yards and a touchdown. Needhammer, two catches, 14 yards. Matt Atkinson, two catches, 14 yards. And the big passing play to Mangilello, the fullback, for 25 yards, his only catch, and a touchdown. For Stevenson, they go home next week on a Friday night under the lights. They will play after you, Florham, who had the week off this week due to Hurricane Sandy's conditions. They were expected to play Widener. For Lycoming, they will play Misericordia on the road. Misericordia winless on the season. Lycoming needs to win that game to set up a possible chance at a conference championship, though they need Delaware Valley to beat Widener, but not score more than 17 points. Should Delaware Valley win that game by more than 17, Delaware Valley will be the MAC champion. If Widener win the game, it doesn't matter. They're the undefeated team in the MAC, and will get that automatic bid. I'm Dave McHugh for D3 Football. This has been my D3 Report, and I hope to see it on D3Football.com.